everybody. This is Dave back with BTM Reviews. And it certainly has been a exciting weekend for the Ripaverse. They announced a new book called The Horseman. I guess it's true. It's got Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett's name on it. So, you know, they announced a new book and that's fantastic. That looks pretty cool. Doesn't look like uh you know, 3D assets. It looks like somebody took the time to write, sit down and draw and color it and do all the proper things to make a comic. So that's off to a good start. And, you know, they were having a convention this weekend and it's fantastic. And they did a, did a little show, uh, you know, a panel, we'll call it. And here's the panel. The CEO. What do you call him, Jeremy? The uh, Black Stanley? <laughs> so, did we hear that? The owner, the CEO, and they asked Jeremy Griggs, what do you call him? The Black Stanley. What the fuck does that even mean, the Black Stanley? Is he just a comic book creator? That's got talent. Just say that. Say he's the most talented comic book creator today. But the black Stan Lee. Why does there have to be a black Stan Lee? Why does there have to be a white Stan Lee? Why does there have to be a Mexican Stan Lee? He's just a comic book artist. So, yeah. Uh, really weird. But I want you to see who's on this panel. This is the Critical Drinker. 1.93 million followers on YouTube. Nerdrotic, we all know him. 965,000 followers on YouTube. Then we got Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. He's got a, you know, a few hundred thousand. Ryan cannell has got, you know, 270,000 almost. That's great. These all have crossover. We We, we understand that. But let's listen to this one more time. We honor the CEO. What do you call him, Jeremy? The uh, Black Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> That's I funny, that. right? That's super funny. <laughs> Jeremy's so funny. I wonder what Gary is thinking at this point. Like, what the god damn, guys? The do we have to say this over the top stuff about comic books and Eric July's ability to create them? You do notice that this does not say Eric July anywhere. It only says Ripaverse. And if you watch the short video that Chuck Dixon put out, Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett came up with the idea. They went to Eric and Chuck Dixon, of course, is very courteous and says, oh, it was so nice for him to, uh, to, to, you know, come up with our design or, you know, agree, agree for us to make the book. Well, what the fuck is Eric going to do? Not let you? Because he don't have any ideas. Let's face it. So we'll go back to the video. My man, Eric. Oh, you hear that wonderful crap? They love him. He runs out. All his boys are there. That's great. It's fun stuff. Man, I, I got to say, if I was Eric, I'd be happy too. But I'd be honest with myself and go, okay, maybe this isn't the best stuff I've created. But th this guy right here, he doesn't need to do this. Gary doesn't need to do this. And I'm going to show you something. This is a tweet from Nerdrotic. Uh-oh. This is a picture of the crowd. This is a picture of the crowd. Let me find that real quick. And I will... Uh, put that up here. This is the tweet from Gary. Hail to the fellowship taking a picture of that crowd. All I did earlier was just take the, that up, but I wanted to show you the actual tweet from Gary. Okay, 
so this panel had all of these other creators on it uh, why what do they have to do with comic books okay yes will jordan or C critical drinker did write a book for your boy zach uh but he's more of a movie critic and author he's written legitimate novels i own one maybe two i even bought the book he wrote the sylvester or the uh rambo book uh Ryan Cannell creates nothing. He just creates five-minute videos ten times a day to bash Disney, bash Marvel. Jeremy likes to play video games. We all know that. And he likes to talk shit about politics, which is fine. That's his thing. Good for him. But Gary is the comic book guy. He's the guy that's all into the comics. And why does it have to be a fellowship? I don't understand it. I don't understand why... Eric July can't get, if he doesn't have all these people around him, plus the blaze, he isn't selling what he's selling. So let's go back to the horseman and the pretty cool art. But then somebody last night on X said, wait a minute. This looks a lot like what Chuck Dixon did for Batman. And kind of see the resemblance here, don't we? Uh, it's kind of crazy to go from this, from 1993, to this, or even this image here. All pretty close. So, I don't understand it. Uh, did nobody buy this book? I think a lot of people bought this book. And a lot of smart people on X were like, what the F is this, man? This is a complete ripoff. So, hey, I, I don't know. I, I'm i confused, but I'm just a guy on the TV or on the YouTube watching stuff, buying books, you know, following people that I like and then finding out they're fucking frauds. Frauds, frauds, frauds. Okay. So let's go back. Super fraud. Super, super, super fraud. Talentless fraud. I don't think these guys are frauds. I think for sure Critical Drinker keeps his mouth shut about stuff. And I did a video on these guys. None of these guys did a video. Uh, you know, praising Eric July's book and reviewing it properly, so they can they can fuck off too. They need to put their words behind what they think this book is, not just buy the product, guys. Support Eric. He's you know he's changing comics forever. Really, because this is a book from 1992 with the same exact title, Horseman. I'm sorry, 1996, and it was a four-book series made by Kevlar Studios. And this is the 2024 version, I guess. Interesting. I tried to see if these guys had a trademark for this book. Couldn't find one. But they made four issues, so it doesn't mean it's not there. It's just they're, they're hard to find. So again, if you're going to follow uh, these guys, you need to be a part of a fellowship, which are these people. But the guy who we're pumping up for 
this book needs all of these people to prop him up. And back in 1992 or three, when these books were made, there was no fellowship. There was just DC hiring Chuck Dixon and other writers to write these books. And people went to their store and bought them. Same with this guy. He just made a book in 1996. He didn't have all this promotion. So yeah, it's all kind of bullshit. No, Eric can do better. Oh, one last thing I need to show you though, because, uh, you know, we, we're talking about how, you know, he's going to be better and he's not going to, uh, you know, whatever. Well, anyway, the thing you need to know about this book, this new book for Chuck and for Joe Bennett are this. Dave the Impaler sends out a tw tweet. Looks awesome. The vibe I'm getting is Punisher meets Nightwing. That's a bad thing already. And John Paul Valley's Batman with maybe a southwestern desert flavor. What were some of your inspirations for this character? I mean, jeez, so much love. Your assessment is pretty darn close. I wanted to write a non-powered masked vigilante who takes no prisoners. But Joe and I are having a lot of fun flipping some of your expectations on their head. The character is very different, but not gay. What? But not gay? What does that mean? Does that mean that the people in Isom himself or the characters in Alpha Corps are gay? I don't understand what that comment means. Why does, why does that have to even be in there? But not gay. Okay, so just so we know, come on. All right, just so we know, the horseman is not gay. I wonder if he's bi or if he's binary. Or if he doesn't uh, identify as any sex, I don't, but not gay. Does that just mean not stupid? Because that could be what gay means, right? You're just acting gay. You're acting stupid. Then say stupid, but not gay, you know, kind of assumes that other characters, like maybe Punisher and Nightwing or John Paul Valley's Batman were gay. Weird. That's a weird thing to say, man, but not gay. Hmm. I don't know. I just watch this shit. People send it to me on X and I just can't believe it. Uh, it just, it's, it's so gross. So gross. Anyway, guys, Thanks for watching. You know, please do me a favor. Like and subscribe. Leave a like, subscribe. And look, I look forward to it. Have a great day. Talk to you later.